An employee at Sal, one of Chile's largest cold cut producers, hmm, uh, gets paid 286 times his salary. And then he took off. Let's go to details here, you guys. This company was supposed to pay their employee a total sum of 500,000 pesos, which was his monthly salary. But actually ended up paying him 165,398,851 pesos. <clears throat> the incident came to notice when management checked their records and found that there was an error. Soon after that incident, though, the management at a cell, I hope I'm pronouncing that correct, Xiao, Xiao, reached out to the employee who allegedly agreed to visit the bank to get the amount refunded. However, when they didn't receive that amount back, they tried contacting the man for an update, but there was no communication. The man reached out days later, saying that he would visit the bank soon to return the money. And on June 2nd, the man submitted his resignation. There's your money. <laughs> <laughs> now, there's, a, there's been a few reports uh, that have serviced that talk that reveal that the man has disappeared. Um, I don't think we need reports to figure that part out. So to retrieve the money, the company has now reached out to various agencies and, re and registered a complaint against that employee. And Twitter is now um, enjoying this. So let's look at a few tweets that people had as they saw this story floating around. Uh, if you need me, I'll just be over here <laughs> quietly manifesting this for myself as people wish that this happens for them. Uh, another person said, dude got nearly 24 years worth of his pay in one shot. This is the only prayer I have. And on that uh, image, it says, Jesus, I see what you've done for other people. And I want <laughs> that for me. <laughs> um, so number one, uh, first off, for those who don't know, um, who don't live in countries where pesos is the is the currency. JR, I just checked out on, on the online. Yeah, for Chilean pesos. Oh, it's Chilean pesos. Okay, uh, the conversion rate uh, gets this uh, the wrong check that he got to at at around one hundred and eighty thousand dollars. Okay, now hey, it's Chilean pesos, so it's a little different than than us, but the living standard in Chile is pretty good, but but still costs a lot less to live there than it does here. So when you disappear into the Chilean woods, $180,000 is gonna get you a lot further. You know, and since we're a, a, you know, a worldwide show, also in euros, it's over 170,000 euro uh, is also what he got away with. And he ain't showing back up, they're still looking for him. And um, again, as I asked, on the top, another poll here, since it's such a tough decision. Uh, what's your verdict, is this guy guilty or is he not guilty? for um, running off to wherever he is now disappeared to with that about $170,000 worth of money. Okay, so that's tyt.com slash polls. We'll have the link down below. Uh, and I'm conflicted on this one, guys, because on the one hand, you know, I talk about, I love the idea of running away. Uh, but for me, it's not after taking money or whatever. Uh, I've said this on the show many, many times. If we get the 28th Amendment passed and we get money out of politics, I'm gonna feel like mission accomplished and I'm gone. I'm in the wind, <laughs> okay? You'll never see me again, I'm in a Chilean forest, okay? Uh, which by the way is good incentive for the right wing. They're like, oh, money out of politics, that's the corruption and gets rid of Jake, pretty good, pretty good, right? Uh, so I feel like they wanna jump straight to the last step. Just get rid of Jake is what they would look for. Yeah, sure, but hey, get money out of politics and I'll do it. Um, so on the other hand, I'm an employer here. And if I accidentally paid somebody $180,000, I'm like, no, please come back, please come back. So I think I'm gonna have to vote uh, guilty on this one, even though I don't want to. <laughs> Caroline, what are you thinking? Oh my gosh, no, no questions on this man did nothing wrong. I wish him <laughs> all the success in the world. I only say that he should do some sort of good with the money that he technically earned. So I don't even think there's like too much moral ambiguity here. You know, I would the next step would be looking into the company. Is the company a, a, like it, it doesn't, it sounds like it's. Yeah, that's that would be the main question for me. What does the company do? But on its face, I'm saying, Godspeed, have a nice life. The the internet does make it hard to get away with things, though. So my fingers are crossed. I wonder though, this. because yeah. I thought I was gonna be the only one that was gonna be on the guilty verdict. I really thought you guys were gonna be on this guy's side. I was trying to lead you in that direction as if I was going there, but no, you can't take the money. I, I mean, again, and that's just because again, I'm in the privileged situation where I feel like, oh yeah, I can go off and do this. Some we don't know what this guy's life is like, and he's like, hey, this is this is God. God works in mysterious ways. And he's a true believer. 
Yeah. Maybe sometimes. And by the way, that half a million pesos that he was paid monthly, uh, I did that that uh, that conversion as well. So he gets paid about 536 US dollars per month. Yeah, so 180,000, a lot of money. Okay, so uh, as it is for all of us, but um, first of all, uh, to answer the question, uh, the company is in the cold cuts business. Mm -hmm. So, um, and that was a pretty cold cut. <laughs> <laughs> so that worked out nicely. Um, so uh, I do, yes, my instinct is to scream, let him go, let him go, because it's always, if it depends on the size of the company. If it's like a mom and pop shop, don't rob them, don't mm -hmm. give their money back, right? Mm -hmm. Mid-sized company, nah, it's, yeah, they're probably gonna have to let go of a couple of people, don't do it. It's a giant company, go, 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 go. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll tell you two quick personal stories that relate to this. One is we were at a ski shop, a big ski shop, we'd rented a thing and then I had broken my skis and I'd gone with a, a uncle who'd taken us with a bunch of guys and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, how did, and Jay looked at me like, how'd you break the skis? <laughs> Dude, don't you know me? Don't you know me? Okay, I, ran, I skied into a stream, <laughs> boom, broken on rocks. Lucky I didn't break my leg. I was anyway. wondering. Okay, so, and I'm like, Uncle Orhan. What do I do with the, uh, how do I return it? He's like, you just put here and then we run. <laughs> 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 sorry, sorry, whatever that ski shop was, I'm so sorry. Anyway, <laughs> okay, now see I violated up my, the rule I just said. It was probably a small but mom and pop place, but anyway, I feel bad about it. So now my dad uh, actually had the same exact thing happen, but from the government. The government accidentally sent him a giant check, okay? And he told me about it and I was, because we used to talk about everything. And I was like, uh, uh, that's pretty tempting, <laughs> right? And my dad's <laughs> like, no, we give back, it is not right. So he gave it back. So his motivation was uh, the, the, the moral thing to do. Your father's a moral person. The reason I would have given him back is because I don't need that stress of being on the run because they will be relentless. A government check? Oh. They're gonna find Is that the you. US government? I don't know. No, well, that's yeah, a good point by Caroline. Oh. I mean, yeah. in, in I their mean, infinite I, incompetence, yeah. is Joe Biden gonna find you? <laughs> Joe Biden gonna find you. He'd have to wake up first. <laughs> yeah, I would I would plead innocent. I would say, oh my god, I'm so sorry. I don't know. I don't, you know, I don't open my mail, whatever. Um, but <laughs> this is wow, I'm learning a lot about myself on this segment. <laughs> I'm picturing Caroline with these giant sunglasses, walking to the bank, <laughs> taking it out did, with a duffel bag, yeah. and then go. I did just see the bling ring, Sofia Coppola's movie about the Hollywood uh, burglars back in the 2000s. And so I'm, you know, I'm, I'm feeling it a little. I'm feeling some <laughs> the energy fun. is flowing. So, yeah. uh, note to Jank, as you mentioned, as the employer, he wants to make sure you don't accidentally cut any checks too large for Caroline. Good to know. Oh good yeah, that's know. true. Is, yes, <laughs> yeah. but I always go. I'm like, if it's a good company, <laughs> you're safe. Don't worry. I'm I'm good. U.S. government. <laughs> <laughs> this is and the I bonus like how, episode, right? Yeah. <laughs> I like how Caroline was instantly like, "Look, he earned it." Well, he did. I mean, it's his paycheck. <laughs> it is his paycheck, but. I'm not sure he earned $180,000 in cold cut work in that. Maybe in he that. just thought he did super well and then just went off the grid and wasn't available to, you know, actually Mac realize wages. that it wasn't really meant for him. Yeah, except for the fact that he's like, yeah, no, no, I, I'm gonna give it back to you guys. Right. <laughs> yeah, that was the best part of that. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, no, no. In that theory. My favorite part was, no, wait, just a little longer. Just a little longer, <laughs> God. Just booking some he was, train tickets here. Oh, yeah, totally. Exactly. He, was he was googling packing. like, how do I go? Which woods do I go to? How do I spend money without it being traced? He's like, oh yeah, yeah. Getting back to you in a minute. <laughs> in a minute. Okay, going to the library to Google stuff so he doesn't get caught. <laughs> <laughs> if that's how it works in Chile. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Well, this is kind of a Chilean cook-off, if you will. Um, yeah. Okay. See, I thought you were gonna end with the first one when you said something else. I forget what the pun was the first time, but I, I was gonna let that one go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, you, you were probably right. <laughs> Thanks for watching The Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun, but you also get 
playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all of that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.